In this tutorial, for beginning Blender users, we'll take a closer look at some of the parameters that I set in this scene for rendering these images using uh, Cycles Render. And there's uh, one of the ways we'll look at it is we'll take a look at the Node Editor as well. So first of all, let's see that we'll see what the finished scene is because the, I have this sample scene. Let's see what I have it set up in here. I have the oh this one I must have rendered really high I guess unless uh, may, I might not have rendered it that high but the preview is set at 10 for the samples and 200 for the final render and let's take a close look if we zoom in here you can see on this this is the preview mode and you can see it looks a little blocky or almost a little grainy on this it almost looks like brushed you know silver or some kind of brushed metal with that grainy effect and you might think well that's the parameters of the of that you'd set, but if we go take a look at the finished render, and we try to zoom into that a little bit, you can see it's not well. It's still a little bit grainy, but not quite the same. And you can see from the distance, it definitely looks like a smoother type object. All right, so we'll see what parameters I set in here. Let's get. Let's see. Let's take a look at the object here. In fact, we'll look at it in rendered mode like this anyway, because the system can handle it pretty well and we'll go over to the material tab and for this object here let's see yeah I better check that and see yeah that was the one I press Z okay so f for this one here notice what I have I have it's set as a glossy material instead of the others the others are set at glass and then that was the default parameter in here um, and then these were added, but I didn't add these in here, I added these via the node editor because pretty much what you're doing in the node editor is what you're doing in here is changing the node editor and vice versa but the node editor is even more powerful because it just gives you a lot more flexibility so we'll take a look at that by we'll open another window here and we'll go get the node editor where is Mr. Node Editor? okay there it is and I'll just shrink this window down a little bit more so you can see it. So here are the nodes in the editor. Well, the what really well effectively, if we look at one of the others, the two that would pop up by default would be this right here. Here's your glass texture, your glass BSDF right here, which is what you would set in here, and then the material output just sets it to the surface. And this is just default. That's you know the basic rendering when you set up a, a material like this, and then if I go back to this one here, notice there's additionally this one, bright, brightness and contrast that I added, and then hue saturation as well, that is piping one into the other and the other. And you just connect these things. Well, I'll disconnect them. The way you disconnect and connect is if you hold down the control key, and then with the left mouse button, I just draw a line across it like this. When I let up, it disconnects it like this. And I'll disconnect that one like that as well. All right, so basically these were the nodes that I added to generate the uh, silver looking texture. I want to reconnect it, I just connect this guy here, and then I'll reconnect this one here, like this. And then, well, you can't see it in this mode. You, in, actually, in this case, you actually have to go back into rendered mode. Actually, I should do that. I'll, actually, I'll disconnect it in here so you can actually see that. There it is, there's that red, and there's the, and that's why you have this red color now connected directly to that, it shows it right in here. So I could change this color, but this brightness contrast is going to override it right in here. And you can see by changing the brightness in here, I just crank it way out. Or I'll change the contrast. Contrast, I'm not a big fan of a lot of contrast, kind of throws things out, but it works for some, some things. and then uh, added this node to it as well to give the kind of brushed aluminum or softness color and then you can just add nodes as, you know like this right down here you just add you can add different kinds of nodes right like this add color there's brightness there's a gamma node mix node inversion node 
would just you know put a mix node in the mix you know and then you would just connect like usual a lot of this is experimentation and I'm no super expert on this subject but I know enough what I'm looking for because I've been around computer graphics for uh, decades <laughs> and so uh, it's pretty easy for me to bring uh, come back the speed on a new system and I'm fairly new with cycles render so all right well let's just take a look at this output once again because it's pretty nice and um, well, that's it for this. I just wanted to point that out, and I'll see you in the next lesson.